Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to put an order on hold in your Magento system. That's right, and it's dead simple to do. So let's go and do this and follow us along in your system. So Dave, we've been come across to our Magento area. And if you go to cells and then orders from the top menu, and there's two ways you can do this, Dave. You can either use the drop down actions menu or you can hold an order once you're viewing it. And we're gonna show you how to do both of these ways. So the first way is that if you tick the order on the left hand side, and then from the actions menu on the right hand side, you can put an order on hold or you can take it off hold. So let's go with an order for myself here. I'm gonna put that order on hold. And of course, Dave, I'm only using one order here but I could have picked up 10 or 20 orders and put those orders on hold. And we can now see that the status on the right hand side is now on hold. So that's basically putting up that hand to say, ah, we need to do some more work on that order, whether it's to check the stock or answer a query that a customer has been in got. And if we click into the actual order itself, then you can also unhold the order. And by the way, this is where you can also mark the order as being on hold too. So this is what an order would typically look like. If you wanna put the order on hold, you just click the hold button at the top and that will put it on hold. And by the way, in here in the background, Dave, when we've been putting orders on hold, it's been leaving messages behind within the order history. And it's also just worth pointing out that you can add comments in here as well. So that's especially important if there's many of you or more than one of you working within your Magento system and you want to find out why is this order on hold? Was that you, Dave? Was it me, Matt? <laughs> you kind of know where we're going with that one. Yeah, it could have been you answered the phone to the customer and put it on hold and maybe didn't tell Matt and he wants to send it out. Basically, it keeps everyone on the same page. Indeed. So, for example, as you were talking then, I just typed in on the phone with a customer and I could just leave a note on there and I could notify the customer. But in this case, it really is an internal comment. And if we did tick the notify customer by email, then they would get a copy of that, which is not really right for this instance. So if we click on the button which says submit comment, we can then see what's been going on with the order. And we know that the order is on hold and then there's a note in there on the phone with the customer. So we know what's going on, of course. It was assumed that we've got the door of the Explorer soft toy within stock and everything's happy with that order. Then we can unhold the order and then go on and process that order as normal. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, totally. That was nice and easy. Really straightforward. So for myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios.